Welcome to PalacioMagazine.com. My name is Antonio Ruiz, and I'm sitting here with Jessica Quintana, Executive Director of Centro Cha, and one of the major sponsors, along with Mayor Robert Garcia and First District Council Person Lena Gonzalez, on an important lecture and panel discussion that's coming up on October the 13th, Latino Urbanism, Defining a Model for Economic and Cultural Development. Welcome. Hi, Antonio. How are Thank you? you so much for coming down and visiting us at our new place here on 1633 Long Beach Boulevard. Welcome to our new great, home. And a, and a great, a great place. Um, so the lecture and panel discussion will involve urban planner, community activist, and artist James Rojas, who's going to speak about U.S. cultural, Latino cultural influences on urban design and sustainability. Um, before we get more into the nuts and bolts of the event, talk to me a little bit about why this is needed and, and talk about Latino urbanism in terms of Long Beach and the idea of economic and cultural development. Um, well, Antonio, our goal you know, is to promote and restore economic vitality to specifically the west side and downtown um, business area and to enhance commercial development which benefits the health, safety, welfare, and cultural development of Latino citizens in Long Beach. Um, as you know, um, the city of Long Beach um, has almost close to 43% population of Latinos. Um, we're experiencing a big um, expensive development and redevelopment that is transforming the city. And so um, it's important for us to have a Latino cultural influence in that design as we're looking at how do business develop, how are people, lives, and residential areas being impacted by this new uh, development. Um, you know, in other places, in other spaces, we've seen um, communities grow and flourish. Right. You know, having a business improvement district, you know, having designated places um, that surrounds um, economic growth for small ethnic uh, development for businesses. Right. Um, for example, we have, you know, the city of Linwood. They've developed a great um, business improvement district. Um, the city of Huntington Park has developed a great business improvement district. You know, we see some of uh, that excitement happening here in, in the city of Long Beach with um, the Cambodian town. Right. You know, they're doing a great job in really promoting economic development and business development within the Cambodian community. Right. Well, I was just going to just jump in and say, because one of the things that is also, I think, really prime issue in all of this is you've got all this development that's going on in the city uh, and a lot of exciting things but I, I'm asking about where's the Latino voices in all of that. Absolutely and so this event and you know we're really inviting everybody to come out to this event and, and hear uh, this lecture by James Rojas who really is an expert in United States um, Latino urban influences on urban design. And it's critical and important that you know, we create a space and, and create awareness so people understand that. Because sometimes what happens as we're building and we're developing, we forget about those populations that live in the community. And so it's very important to have um, a space where you create awareness and have discussion about that. And how, when you do that, really promotes um, you know, the vitality and economic development and um, safety of those residents living in those communities. And it looks like them. So, you know, they really uh, care about their community when they're involved in the planning and design. Let's take a moment to talk some visioning here. Um, if you had all the means at your disposal, financial, political, community, what, what do you envision? What, what kinds of things? Is it a building? Is it a neighborhood? I mean, what, what do you see? Um, the vision, and if we, you know, had a, a wish, right, and we um, had a magic wand, you know, for the city of Long Beach, we know that there's certain impacted areas that, you know, could, could benefit by improving um, their 
having a, a business improvement district. For example, the west side of Long Beach, the Santa Fe corridor. Mm. We know that um, you know there's some development that's happening over there, and um, you know it's been a, a neglected place for decades. Right. That place has been neglected, right. and so you know this is a prime time. You know there's opportunities to be able to really develop a business improvement district along the Santa Fe corridor. We have. Um, quite a bit of Hispanic Latino businesses as well as other long-standing businesses that have been on that corridor uh, providing um, economic development um, resources to the community. But it's a place for building. It's a place to continue to build in that area um, that would improve the quality of life for residents there. You know, one of the things that we've talked about, and I see this in other models in other cities, is places where you could have um, small business development uh, incubators, you could have uh, a place for nonprofits mm -hmm. to operate. Um, you could also have places where artists could play a substantial role, um, both in terms of whether they're studio spaces, galleries, things like that. If you had all of those things mixed together, now you're bringing together really a big package of, of, of things. Well, what we've seen be um, successful is those type of models. Having a model to where you have small business, you have a marketplace with retail, with restaurants, with nonprofits, um, you know, providing um, their resources and services to the community. And then you have the cultural arts um, groups coming out and really providing beautification and right. arts. You know, those kind of spaces we know are best practices because they engage the community. Right. When the community feels engaged, then we're actually, you know, developing that community and we're reducing all the blight, we're reducing violence, we're reducing, you know, poverty. And um, you're having a place where people can come out and bring their best talents. They can come out and, you know, uh, have a small retail, they can come out and own restaurants, you know, we can have a um, um, performances, you know, in right. that area and right. have a real true um, marketplace right. that right. generates funds. And we know that is one of the best practices. Um, we've seen it done, you know, throughout um, the different cities around the nation. Right. So one of the things, um, so this is going to be at Museum of Latin American Art, uh, October 13th, the Thursday. Uh, from 4.30 to 7. Uh, Museum of Latin American Art, by the way, is at 628 Alamitos um, Avenue here in Long Beach. Um, and there's, so James is going to speak. Uh, probably, uh, well, the, first of all, the mayor is going to open it up. The mayor Garcia is going to open it up. We were very excited um, for the mayor to be um, the open uh, speaker and, and make, you know, remarks and also, um, you know, uh, Lena Gonzalez, the councilwoman right. from the first district, will be there also. You know, who has very much been um, supportive of you know development and small business and and really create new opportunities for um, innovation in our community. Right. And so I'm really excited, you know, that to have uh, Mayor Garcia and Councilwoman uh, Lena Gonzalez be part of this initiative because I think they understand visioning and I think they understand innovation. Right. And this is the prime opportunity. You know, to really have that um, awareness and, and really, you know, this is just the beginning. Right. This, is, this is the beginning of bringing awareness, but we need to continue to make sure that our voice for Latinos here are, are um, heard, that they're being active, that they're being engaged, that they're at the table, because we all know when you're not at the table, then you're, you're not at the menu. <laughs> yeah. You're not on the menu. You're not, you're not, well, you're, you're not <laughs> eating any of the food. Right. You're not being served. And, the, the, and we're really the, the, trying to change yeah. that narrative yeah. for a lot of Latino small businesses and Latino residents who, you know, um, really can benefit by this type of initiative. Right. You know, we really need to change the narrative for Latino families here in the city of Long Beach, you know, who most of them, the majority are living in poverty and can really change these neighborhoods to be a economic um, vitality um, district, business improvement district. So then, uh, hopefully, well not hopefully, the, the plan is to have a panel discussion afterward. Um, we're still putting together some of those uh, um, contributors, uh, participants in the panel. Um, but this is going to happen again, October Thursday, October 13th, from 4.30 to 7 o'clock. Uh, inside of the article that this uh, interview will be on, we'll have some more information about how to find out more information. 
and and how to make uh, RSVP for the event. So I'm really looking forward. And oh, did I even forget that I will be moderating the panel? Absolutely. <laughs> so we welcome everyone to come out and visit the beautiful Museum of Latin Art. Listen to um, James Rojas, who's going to give a dynamic lecture. Right. And he's done um, this a lot, and he really he is, speaks. I, I've seen, known. yeah, and, and I've, I, I've, I've attended some of his events, and, and uh, um, there'll be information about his website uh, in the article as well. So if you are a developer, a planner, a banker, a person who's making decisions on, on the design and development, and if you're a small business owner, this is the place that you would want to come out to really have an understanding. You couldn't pay for this lecture to come out. Um, this is a great opportunity to engage, uh, visit the museum, and get, you know, uh, really um, get some valuable information as we start looking at the city and really um, looking at how Latinos are moving um, in economic development and, and cultural development in our city. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Jessica Quintana, Executive Director of Centro Cha, and one of the major sponsors of the upcoming event on Thursday, October the 13th, Latino Urbanism, Defining a Model for Economic and Cultural Development. Thank you, Antonio.